on Island Time, and this weekend we are camping at Potato Creek Campground in North Judson, Indiana. It's been a few years since we've been here, but it is as gorgeous as ever. Today I'm making breakfast, or right now I'm making breakfast outside. Um, <laughs> Mike forgot the propane, so we're not grilling, so I'm using the electric skillet to cook up some bacon and some eggs. And then after that, I'm not sure if we're going to go biking or if we're going to go hiking. We'll make that decision when he comes out for breakfast. I've already been up early, taking the girls out, taking them for their walk. Mike and I like to have coffee in the morning and just kind of chill out until we're ready to start our day. And hopefully that'll be right after breakfast. Anyways, thought I'd do an update. Our camper is behind us, and I'll talk about that a little bit later. And uh, we'll see you in a few minutes. Or in a few moments. <laughs> On Labor Day weekend in 2021, Sherry and I visited Potato Creek State Park in Indiana. The park is located about 12 miles south of South Bend. Potato Creek is a very popular camping destination for both young and old alike. The park features tons of activities and one of the biggest draws of the park is its variety of natural habitats including the 327 acre Worcester Lake which hosts waterfowl in significant numbers especially in the winter and spring. In addition, several pocket wetlands in the park also host waterfowl, as well as herons, rails, and shorebirds. There is a variety of forest habitats as well, including old fields, mature woodlands, restored prairie, and diverse wetlands. It's a turtle. You know me and turtles. I love turtles. Is, he, is that like a little tiny one? It's a little Up tiny. on a little rock? Or a little floating piece of wood. Yeah. I think it's on the floating piece of wood. Each offers uh, unique opportunities for plant and wildlife observation. Bird watching activities are available throughout the entire year, including the winter time. The park features several amenities including a nature center, some playgrounds, bicycle, canoe, paddle boat, rowboat, kayak rentals, as well as beach with swimming, a tubing hill for those that like to camp in the winter or just visit the park and go sledding, wildlife observations areas. Camping at Potato Creek is available year round. They have 287 electric only sites. If you need water, make sure you bring it, um, but they do have uh, fill areas for you on the entrance. For sewer, there is a sewer dump on your way out. There are 70 sites also for Horseman's Electric. There's a youth tent areas and the camp store. Potato Creek also features six trails from Easy all the way up to Rugged. Sherry and I uh, really like uh, Potato Creek and have stayed here many times in, over the past seven years. In fact, it is one of our favorite destinations when we can get a space. Our first camping adventure at Potato Creek started back in 2013 when we first got our RV and we've enjoyed going back each and every time. We highly recommend that you make reservations well in advance to ensure that you can get into the park and get a space.
Hi everybody. So we just came back from a bike ride. We went to the general store here and took a look around. We were hoping to, um, what were we hoping to find? I don't remember what we were hoping to find. Oh, we were there to uh, see about firewood for this evening and to see if they deliver that to the campsites, which they do not here. So be aware that if you come in a class C or class A and you didn't tow anything, if you've got bikes that can handle one quarter wood, strap it to your bike, you're good to go. But they do not deliver to the campsites, which is kind of a shame. Um, it would be a great service if they had been able to do that. Afterwards, um, we bought a magnet and uh, some mosquito coil repellent. And after that, we took a ride down to the boathouse. We did not know the boathouse was there. And then we did a little bit of walking and uh, saw a turtle, which I think I got a picture of, but it's hard to see because my phone didn't zoom in that much. And then we went up past the, uh, the boat rental place and took another trail we were going to do another trail and it came to a fork in the road and we had our choice of either going left or right. When we left this morning, we did not turn on the air conditioner. So the girls would have roasted because the RV is now in full sun. So we came back, turned on the uh, AC, opened the door to discover somebody was bad and got into the garbage. So we cleaned that up they're being punished and I think right now we're just kind of chillaxing here at our site which is site 152 anyways it was a good ride and my leg did pretty okie dokie um, had to walk through a couple of places because people were mulling around and I didn't want to run into somebody but overall it was a good day talk to you soon Uh, Dad caught a uh, perch this morning, but nice. we caught a hognose snake Ooh. on the way down here. Wow. But no other fish. Ah, well, put that down. Better luck next time. Thank you. Come on. Go ahead. Enjoy your day. Thank you, too. Thanks. Uh, incident yesterday that had me cracking up. So you'll probably get a little clip and figure out what happened. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.
trying to turn and I couldn't turn. You ran over the side. <laughs> I did. I it's like it didn't move out of my way. <laughs> I'm trying to make funny. I'm trying to make funny. somewhere else. I told you. <laughs> what happens when you try to maneuver with something in your hand on a bike? Get. Hmm. Oh. Somebody got into the Go. garbage. Get. And the culprit had a bone in her mouth from last night. The guilty ones. Who did it? Who got into the garbage? Come on, confess it. Who got into the... Oh, no. You get back in that bed. Back in that bed. Back in that bed. Who got into the garbage? Who did that? Who was the bad girl? Who was the bad girl? Hmm. Something tells me both of you. You both look guilty. <laughs> so they have finally escaped from prison and they are out here on their leashes. Hopefully they will remain good and behave.